From landing on the moon to staring into the depths of the universe with powerful telescopes, humanity's voyage into space has been packed with significant milestones. However, not all cargo sent into space are as important or monumental. Some are downright odd, whimsical, or unusual. These strange objects taken into space frequently convey stories as intriguing as they are uncommon, representing the human spirit in all its curious, playful, and innovative glory. Salmonella bacteria Salmonella germs, which are known to cause food poisoning, were carried to the International Space Station ISS, on space shuttle missions in 2006 and 2008, resulting in an unexpected discovery. These bacteria become more virulent than their Earth-bound counterparts in the unusual microgravity environment of space. This discovery is significant because the conditions in space are similar to those seen inside human intestines, where a mechanical force known as fluid shear is low as it is in space. This resemblance aids researchers in understanding how salmonella functions within the human body. Space research has opened new doors for enhancing food safety and creating novel therapies and vaccinations to combat food illness on Earth. It also has ramifications for astronauts' protection against infectious diseases during space missions. Cheryl Nickerson of Arizona State University's Biodesign Institute discovered that by adjusting the quantities of ions in the bacteria's environment, it is feasible to prevent the rise in virulence observed in space. This discovery could pave the path for novel treatments for salmonella infections on Earth and in space. This finding is especially important as NASA anticipates lengthier space trips to the Moon and Mars, where astronauts will be far from medical assistance and may have compromised immune systems owing to microgravity, leaving them more prone to disease and infection. Understanding and fighting microbial dangers in space is an important step towards securing astronaut health and safety on future long-duration missions. A Sound Recording of Human Brainwaves NASA initiated the Voyager Interstellar mission in the summer of 1977, which required sending two spacecraft into space. Each of these spacecraft carried a gold record that would serve as a time capsule for a billion years. The recordings included Earth noises and music, as well as crucial events such as a mother's first words to her child, a kiss, and greetings in 59 languages. These records were created to send a message to any alien civilization that came across them. Carl Sagan, the renowned astronomer and science communicator, headed the project with Andrian providing creative direction. Drian and Sagan fell deeply in love during the Voyager project and married in 1981. One of Drian's record-making ideas was to include electrical impulses from the human brain and nervous system. She documented these impulses shortly after their engagement while thinking on the essence of love at Bellevue Hospital. This personal touch was intended to convey to any possible extraterrestrial discoverers the essence of human emotion. The golden records have already traveled far beyond our solar solar system, reaching interstellar space at a speed of 35,000 miles per hour. They contain the sounds of Earth as well as the timeless story of a human love that transcends time and space. LEGO Figures In 2011, three customized LEGO figures were delivered to Jupiter aboard NASA's Juno probe. These one-of-a-kind LEGO minifigures depict the Roman god Jupiter, his wife Juno, and the illustrious father of science, Galileo Galilei. This campaign was part of NASA and the LEGO Group's Bricks in Space project, which aimed to motivate children to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Scott Bolton, the Juno mission's lead investigator, emphasized NASA's long-standing cooperation with LEGO and the educational benefits of the toy. The Juno spacecraft and minifigures were planned to arrive at Jupiter in July 2016 when they would orbit the planet for a year before sinking into its gaseous atmosphere. Jupiter utilized clouds to hide his mischief in mythology, but Juno could see through them, revealing his true nature. The Juno spacecraft set out to accomplish something similar, peering beneath Jupiter's clouds to learn more about its structure and history. Juno clutched a magnifying glass, symbolizing her search for the truth, while Jupiter held a lightning bolt. Galileo Galilei, who made important discoveries regarding Jupiter, such as naming his four moons. Interestingly, these LEGO figures were built of a unique space-grade aluminium rather than plastic. They had gone through extensive testing to guarantee they were fit for the assignment. A plaque honoring Galileo constructed of flight-grade aluminium was also mounted to Juno beside these figures. This plaque featured a self-portrait of Galileo as well as a paragraph from a letter he wrote in 1610 regarding his observations of Jupiter. Sea urchin sperm in the 1990s, scientists transported sea urchin eggs into space on rockets to see if they could still start life in zero gravity as they do on Earth. They discovered that these eggs may be fertilized and develop into baby sea urchins even when floating in space. But there was one strange thing. 
If the eggs spent time in space without being fertilized, they couldn't begin the process again when they returned to Earth. During one of the space missions in 1993, researchers investigated closely to see if the very early steps of a sea urchin baby's existence, where the single egg separates into many cells, were screwed up by being in space. The small cells could feel the lack of gravity, but they continued to grow normally. These space missions were significant because they revealed that rockets may be useful for studying how life begins and grows as long as scientists choose the correct moments in life's early phases to examine. The main message is that, at least for sea urchins, the lack of gravity does not appear to be an issue at the start of life. However, scientists are still puzzled about what would happen if there was no gravity for an extended period of time. The space eggs also got scientists thinking about how gravity can affect how biological things grow and develop in such harsh environments. A piece of the Wright brothers' airplane As a monument to aviation pioneers Orville and Wilbur Wright, Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, carried bits of the Wright Flyer with him in July 1969. Fabric and propeller components from the aeroplane that made the first powered flight in 1903 were among the relics on display. As the 50th anniversary of Armstrong's lunar landing approached, along with the release of the movie First Man, over 3,000 of Armstrong's personal artifacts, including Wright Flyer pieces, were auctioned off. These artifacts, obtained through a deal with the United States Air Force Museum, were part of Armstrong's personal preference kit permitted on the lunar module. Armstrong and Ohioan, like the Wright brothers, had long admired and studied their work. At the time, the media drew parallels between the moon landing and the Wright brothers' flight, stressing the difference in the type of daring necessary. According to a 1969 Time article, the Apollo 11 mission signaled a shift from individual bravery to a collective, highly organized effort, with astronauts seeming as elements of a massive system, their activities closely monitored and backed by technology and teams. Some observers observed parallels in the transformative impact of both events on humanity's relationship with the environment and the universe.